Ice going in. Amistad is BKB as well. Nothing to be worried about at all. Yeah, Ice Path damage out on the Ame. But again, he's got that Aegis. He won't even need to use it in the moment they go to the shallow grave. Ice Path is there. Toss up into the air. And they will catch themselves a couple. The Remnant over to the side. Toronto Tokyo trying to get a kill on a ZQ. He's moving over, but he's been hexed up. He's on the run. A Remnant away. ZQ taking some damage, but the Rolling Thunder comes out onto the Ember. They'll toss him up into the air. They get the kill on a Toronto Tokyo for 90 seconds. And it's really just last hopes, last ditch efforts here for Team Spirit. They'll move forward once again. They've got the Avalanche. Collapse is going to be disarmed. And all they can do is watch. LGD is taking their base. They've got the Hex once again. And Ame goes in on the Collapse. The Hurricane Pike is going to get him away and let him survive for a moment. But they've got Yachiro in their hands, in their grasp, and LGD, they're grasping the trophy as they will take the Series 2-0 over Team Spirit and become your champions. Might be the fastest grand final we've ever had, to be honest. What are they, 30, 50 minutes? 45? It was so fast from LGD. I mean, the Series didn't even feel like it lasted an hour. This game only 30 minutes. I believe the last one, Just 34. About. It's an hour victory in the grand finals for LGD and they kind of get a little bit of revenge here over Team Spirit. Twice even. They beat them 4-0 in this tournament. No chance at all for Team Spirit whatsoever. Outdrafted, outplayed, outstrategized. Just everything. LGD is such a scary team when they get everything online. Yeah, and it's crazy to feel that they could be so calm here as it's, it's big prize money. It's the eighth biggest prize pool in Dota history. So much money to take away, so much experience finally playing on an international land for LGD. There were doubters at times on LGD's streak here as they only went four and three, but they lift the trophy. Your champions, PSG LGD. LGD lifting the trophy. It's Jin Q. Some of them. Cutie holding that trophy. Salbot tried to solve it. It's a bit, <laughs> bit too heavy for him. He's hey, like, hey, Faith B, anyone have this again? You got to have the muscles to lift the trophy, and it seems yeah. like they do here on LGD, at least for the most part. Oh, Faith B on again, yeah. <laughs> Lifting it up, showing off the gains, showing off the muscle. It does look like a heavy trophy. He's even. It looks really heavy. Yeah. yeah, he's really struggling a little bit. Oh, wow. And they all line up. Everybody happy here for LGD as they do take the Series 2 0. An hour and three minutes total was all they needed to take this victory. And it's a little bit of revenge here. It may not be TI prize money, but it is big money on the line here as LGD. I mean, again, I said it before international land for these teams for rng for lgd and it's a lot of experience to gain especially they've got their own metas and things shifted we saw the meta change come in we saw what teams brought from their own regions I, what, what's your biggest takeaway lgd is it the dominance is it, is it the, the drafting i think is it's it just Java? the adaptability over the, the course of the tournament they got destroyed by team secret they changed the style a little bit then they had one really bad game against team nigma once they lost that game they again change just keep evolving 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 and in this form they're probably considered the favorites for the major as well yeah. which is just around the corner hey who would think a four and three team that had to go through tiebreakers to the major would be the favorite uh, not this guy that's for sure not this guy that's for sure nobody thought they were the favorites uh, coming into this one as they had performed pretty uh, mediocre some would say some would say uh, to plan but yeah lgd they do a great job at this event show full strength i think they showed a, a lot of what they have to offer going yeah. into the major. It certainly looked like all the cogs were turning for this team. And that's not to take away from Team Spirit, right? Yeah. They played really well. They got to this point. They beat Secret, who looked like a team that was going to be unbeatable. They're the only team that beat Secret here, I believe. Yeah, they, they beat Secret in the playoffs. They eliminate them. They got that one game in the group stage. It was Secret who felt very much like the favorite after group stage, that's for sure. And it, it's Spirit that shows resiliency, that shows that, yes, they can still be the top team at 
at moments when it's needed, right? Yeah, I mean, at the very beginning, their group stage looked a bit iffy. They also obviously evolved throughout the tournament. They got better and better and better. Beat Secret ultimately, which a lot of people didn't think they would. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, this grand final was just tough. LG just showed up in the best form ever. Oh, yeah. It's a BO3 also, so you can't really allow yourself too many mistakes, you know? And it's just a lot of pressure on you, honestly. You lose yep. that first game, they have you out drafted again. You're like, oh my god, what can we really do? LGD is not a team to really drop the ball on that. No, they, and they really, uh, I said in the game, they made Spirit bend to their will. And the interview. Now on the stage by the champions, PSG LGD. Congratulations on the victory. First off, easy question. How does it feel to be the Riyadh Master Champions? Uh, I feel so happy right now. All they're saying that they're also quite happy. I can imagine you are happy. And yeah, talk me through the emotion of this, because coming into this tournament, you were the last team to arrive, limited time to prepare. How did you overcome this to come all this way to lift the trophy? Uh, 更好的调节彼此的心态，然后再解决每一个课题吧。So there are two points. The most important point is like we set a goal as a team. We have a common goal, common target, and we try our best to reach it. And the second point is that, of course, there are ups and downs. If there are some challenges happening, we just assess ourselves and we just cope with that. And we just we did it. And you definitely did do an amazing job here. Round of applause again for that. I want to talk to you about the length of this legacy. You guys have been together two years. You must feel like a family. Are you proof that keeping a team together for a long time is the way to find success? Uh, uh I think it's very good because uh, we already know each other very well and we know why we are happy. Why? Because we are winning some games, maybe we might be doing well in some aspects, we, we know why. And we also know why we are not so happy because there are some challenges and we just get it over together as a team, as a family. I love to hear that. I love to hear that you're like a and, and you know, this, this is an incredible event, right? We're talking about $1.5 million. That is eight DPC majors. How does winning this compare to winning a Dota Pro Circuit major? All of us feel like this is a great tournament. Uh, we're talking about this Riyadh Masters, and we're hoping that maybe we're looking forward one day that Riyadh or Saudi Arabia is going to hold the next major of Dota 2. Yes, here we go. Perhaps the international, perhaps the TI. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, I love that answer. That answer is amazing. Okay. We finally got to see Chinese Dota on the international stage. The first time since TI. Major is just ahead of us. Is this be the beginning of Chinese dominance on the international stage again? 
呃，我们终于终于看到中国队伍回到国际舞台中了，以及 Major 已经呃近呃破呃近在咫尺了，就是我们马上就要去打 Major 了。那么你们觉得这是一个呃统治的时代的开始吗？呃，统治不至于吧，然后但肯定是个开始，然后让无论是现场还是在线上一直看的观众粉丝，然后支持中国 DOTA、Chinese DOTA。We wouldn't say it's a beginning of a dominance. We would say it's a beginning of something. We would like all the fans who are who are supporting here and who are supporting us online on the TV. Um, feel satisfied and to continuously support Chinese daughter because CN daughter best daughter. I don't think I can say anything to top that. What an amazing performance out of LGD. Thank you for this interview. Thank you for the amazing dot you put on and congratulations on becoming the Riyadh Master Champions. Thank you. What a phenomenal tournament we've had here. The final series has been done. We have crowned our champions. PSG LGD are your first Riyadh Master Champions, but this all needs to be broken down. An amazing